All right, hey guys, Fiddle Ferret here, and it's that time of the year again. Time to do another manga collection video. This time I'm also just gonna like do the whole room because most of the room is manga, but I've also got some anime and figures, so we'll tie those in more at it. But um, but yeah, let's uh, take a second here and we'll get into the video in a second. All right, guys, so before we get into the full panoramic and look at all the manga I have, I'll try to keep this short. But for everyone new, just wanted to give a little background on who I am. Um, so I've been collecting manga since probably, I don't know, since like 2007, 2008 mostly. Um, from there on. And then basically from that day when I discovered manga, I have continuously collected it throughout just all of the years up until now. It started with anime and manga, but it slowly morphed into like there were times when it was more figures than manga, when it was more anime than manga, when it was more manga than anime. Um, I really do switch in what I like to, what I'm into. Um, I mean, it's it switches off all of this stuff in general. Sometimes I was into Pokemon cards for like a solid like year and a half, very easily. So. Who knows what it really will be with me, sometimes it's a video game, I played Overwatch like for two years straight when it came out and basically did nothing else. You'll notice that there's really a little bit of everything. I don't really hold myself to one type of story or genre. I mean, I've read Shonen and Shoujo and Horror and Dark, Fantasy, Harem, you know, Isekai. <laughs> Uh, I really will do just about anything. Uh, sometimes I get comments on, I can't believe all the garbage you have. I don't care. I, I don't care. I like what I like. There are some of the super popular ultra series that I'm like, ah, it just doesn't really do anything for me. So, like what you like, I like what I like. I have a little bit of everything. Uh, and so there will be something, I think, for everyone to see just stuff they like and stuff they don't. And maybe some stuff that will surprise you along the way. Uh, so anyway, guys, I hope that I didn't keep that too long. And from here, we'll get into the manga first. And then if you want to see more of it after the manga, we'll take a look at the anime. We'll take a look at the figures. And then we'll try. I'm going to try to keep this short as I can, but it's going to be long. Let's give it a shot. Also, one quick thing I just wanted to point out. So I put obviously 30, uh, 30,000, 3,000 volumes in the title and it technically kind of is. So here's the, the, the quick little story I have. So I did all the count of the volumes and the individual volumes came out to like 2,850-ish or so. It's like, oh, I'm just short of 3,000. That would have been cool. But I was like, well, wait a minute. I didn't count the omnibus volumes I counted them all as one, so I was like, well, what if I counted the, you know, how many volumes it would have been? So that put me well over. That put me like, like 3,000, almost put like, like 3,080 or something. So that put me plenty far. I was like, well, I'll just put that in the title and say it's that. Well, then, as I was cleaning up in here, getting ready for the video, after I had counted, I found like a box of like 100 volumes of manga that I've been meaning to sell or just get rid of or donate somewhere because they're doubles or old or I'll never finish or just stuff that's nothing. That's not even worth showing in the video. So I was like, oh, well, if I counted those, that would basically own. So we're basically at 3,000, give or take. So if you have a problem with it, I, I don't care because you can't hurt me. Uh, but anyways, to the video. All right then, I guess it's really time to start this, this long process. So I'm not going to mention every series as I go by. There's just too many. Um, if I think of something when I go by one, we'll go ahead and mention it if I've got a specific thought about it or want to talk about it. But if, So if I skip over something, I didn't miss it. I just <laughs> didn't bother to mention it. So uh, we got Air Gear to start with. Oh, oh. Another thing, let's start going a little bit as we go here. Um, another thing to go on is that I have rearranged my collection. So if you've seen my other videos, you will notice that my collection is rearranged. Uh, I used to have it, I think, by company. Um, and now I've got it mostly alphabetical. And when I say mostly, it's A to Z. But within the A to Z, I really didn't bother to alphabetize it because, ah, oh, fuck. It took so long to do. By the way, Ancient Magnus Bride, that's a really great series. I've been really enjoying that one a lot. Um, and so, yeah, it's just... Uh, and also, sorry, if every once in a while you're not in focus, I apologize. Just because this camera sucks and doesn't autofocus, so I have to, like, pay attention to that. 
um, after the rain. That's been a really fun new one to read as well. Um, and also, there is a few volumes behind that, but it's just more Agami could kill, so don't feel bad because you're not missing much. Agami could kill is an interesting series. So what was I saying? Uh, I've, I've already lost it. Uh, this was a little disappointing. I was really hoping that this would really... It's hard to stand out. I mean, how do you follow up Full Metal Alchemist? But I can't really say Arson was really doing much for me at the time. So yeah, like I was saying, getting this stuff like alphabetized was torture. Because I had to take all of these off the shelves. And I actually moved the shelves as well and rearranged. Because this used to be like all the way up to the ceiling. Um, this one here. But I lowered all of the pegs down some. And so this wasn't so high. Which made it a lot better. Attack on Titan. I haven't read Attack on Titan in so long. I was enjoying it so much. And then I just kind of stopped for a while. And then I just kind of lost a little bit of interest. But I'd like to get back into that soon. Bakuman. I loved Bakuman. Baku, Baku Man, Baku Man, I don't know. Um, I actually really enjoyed it. So just, I love series that are kind of this length. That 20 to 30, like five volumes is a really nice length for a series sometimes. Um, Bamboo Blade, that brings me back. I bought that so long ago. Same with Battle Club. Battle, one volume of Battle Vixen. Um, Big Order. I think that's the follow up to Future Diary, I believe, right? Um, Blackbird, I haven't read any of that yet, um, but I got all those cheap, so I figured at some point I'm going to try and get to them. Black Cat, look at me getting all alphabetized, sort of. Uh, and then it's moved down because I'm on a stool. Black God, I that's honestly one of the first manga I ever read. And so I really had no idea what was good and what isn't. And so my remembrance of whether it was good or not, is tainted. I, I liked it at the time, but I don't know if it's actually good because I can't. I really can't remember. It's probably been 10 years since I read it. Um, Black Butler. I read it for a while, and then I, I really lost interest in it. Just it was. It's good. Like don't get me wrong, but it just wasn't for me. Um, Bleach. This is the only box that I have of Bleach. The rest of them are all just single volumes. You can't quite see them. They go into the corner like that, just so they don't fall over. But that is all the volumes of Bleach. Um, I'm not going to bother to get those out because it's just more numbers. And then I actually haven't, I've read all of Bleach, but haven't completed it as far as volumes go yet, which I really need to do because I'm that close. And then Miku plushie, I guess while we're up here, I'll just do a quick pan and you can see all those Nendo boxes up there. But then we can maybe take another peek at those later. What do we have here? Uh, what is that? That is, I can't see it. Oh, Bodacious Space Pirates. I see. I see. All right, we're going to move off the stool and down to the next level, which hopefully I won't need the stool for. All right, hopefully you guys can hear me all right. I really hope you can hear me all right. Otherwise, I'm going to cry. Um, there's a little bit of a glare there, but you can you can basically see what's on that shelf. Uh, and so, also, another quick side note, there's some Blue Exorcist. I really should have just kept the stool. I meant to get the stool back. Um, B-Tune, because I'm trying to look through the camera finder to see what's actually on the shelf, because... This is getting very... Car Card Fight Vanguard didn't really do much for me. City Burst Angel, I got those so long ago. Um, Butterflies Flowers, that was actually a decent um, shoujo manga that I didn't mind. I think it's only seven volumes. Those seven volumes are just kind of behind that thing there, but that's all that's back there. Just one through seven. Um, the Cage of, uh, Cage of Eden. I remember the first two volumes of those. I, I do not remember much about that series. I don't think I ever finished it. Um, I definitely am pretty sure there's more. Cats, that, God, I, I got that so, so, so long ago. Well, uh, just a five volume series. It was okay. It was okay. Um, I've got some random volumes of a certain magical index. I've also got one volume of a certain scientific acceleration. Then I've got a decent a little amount of collection here of scientific railgun, which was I more like the anime than the manga. The anime was really fun. We've got the full set of Chika, uh, the Coffin Princess. Let me have Chibi Vampire, which brings me back. Um, I love Chibi Vampire. I read it in high school, and I read that over and over again. Um, I should read that again. I really liked it at the time. Chobits. Someone has my Assassination Classroom books. Um, I'd like those back sometime. Uh, we got Code Geass. A whole bunch of Code Geass books here. So I didn't realize at first. I guess this volume is really hard to get. And so that makes me happy that I have the full set. Um, Nightmare of Nunnally is uh, another really cool shoot-off that I actually really enjoyed. I don't remember much about it now, but I just remember liking it quite a bit. It is so weird, because there's no mechs in the manga. So it is bizarre reading the manga. They all just have, like, guns and stuff. It is a trip. Um, a few, like, Suzaku one-offs and then Code Geass Queens. Let's see. 
Dap Dagen Rampa, that book. Uh, I have a whole bunch of Dance and the Vampire Bund, the, the omnibuses and all kinds of things. Dawn of Arcania, and then Dead Man Wonderland. I'm back on the stool, by the way, so we're going to get off again. Deers is sort of a special set to me because it was given to me by like a friend, and it was one of the first manga I ever read, so that's why that one kind of means a bit more to me than some of the other ones I have. Uh, Defrag, really fun anime. I haven't really collected, uh, I haven't really read the manga in a while though. Uh, Dr. Stone did not do much for me. Um, like the villain felt so forced and awful and I just wanted, I just wanted like a book about them like restarting civilization but then I got like this evil, uh, I hated it so. I probably won't read any more of that. D. Grayman loved it in high school. Although I must say, obviously, I don't even know if it still goes anymore because it was such on and off. Uh, I loved the beginning half of D. Grayman. The end half got... I mean, the, what I remember from the end was not as nearly as good. Dean Angel got that so long ago. That was never finished. Um, Dragon R Academy. It was a bit lewd. Dragon's Riding. Not great. Uh, Dragon Drive, Dara Ra Ra, Evergreen. I've never read such a disappointing book in my entire life. Uh, it was from the creator of Toradora and could have fooled me. And then that finishes off the rest of this one here. Down another one. Oh man, I Shield 21. I love I Shield 21. If you like sports manga, I Shield 21, I don't, I don't care what you say, it's like the king. And I know people definitely do not agree with that, but I love I Shield 21. Excel Saga, it's one of those ones I've started. I really need to finish the rest of it. I don't have all the volumes, and once I do, I think I'll probably um, restart it and then so I can finally finish it. Then we have a long boy, one that we don't have to stay in one place so long. Fairy Tale! So, <laughs> everyone loves Fairy Tale, right? Right? I'm just, I'm not even going to talk about it because it just won't go well. Let me get a whole bunch of fairy tale offshoots. Well, I say that. Eden Zero, I really, I don't really know what Eden Zero is if I'm being honest. Um, it was okay, but the character designs are, are too much like fairy tale. They're too much. I can't deal with it. Fairy tale Zero, a whole bunch of fairy tale stuff. Uh, some really old Fate Stay Night books. Fallen Angel, another one of the first manga series I ever bought. Way, way, way back in the day. I remember really liking it. Um, don't ask me why, but I remember fucking loving it. Uh, Fire Force, I desperately need more of Fire Force. Um, let's see what else we got there. Ooh, Flying Witch and The Flowers of Evil. The Flowers of Evil is a fucking weird book. I'd like to get the Omnibus ones to replace these ones sometime. Um, Food Wars, I really like Food Wars for a time. I've kind of fallen off it right now, um, but one of these days, I... I I'm pretty sure it's like finishing or finished, which kind of surprised me, but it probably shouldn't either. I don't think it was maybe doing super well, which is a shame because the series had potential, but it did lose me at points for sure. Um, Forget Me Not, the Freezing omnibus Omnibuses, which are really nice by the way, they're just really, really high quality. What else we got? Doo -doo -doo oh, Full Metal Alchemist. Just top tier. One of the best series I've ever read, probably ever will read. Um, it's, a, it's a great series. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It is an amazing series, and I hope to get the, the special hardcover edition sometime. Um, Future Diary, a book, one, again, one of the ones I got way, way, way back in the day. I loved Future Diary, but the anime was... I think the manga ended the same, and it was awful. I remember really loving it, and then the ending came, and I was like, why have you done this? Oh, there's a bunch of just random stuff in there. And then this, I want to say, I got cheap somewhere. And then what's that one up top? Oh, A Girl in the Shore. That one was bizarre, if I remember right. Very, very bizarre. -y. We got some Overwatch Nendos and a Miku one. That Miku one is really cool, by the way. Or really cute. I don't know why I said cool. I love that Miku Nendo. All right, moving on. All right, some more random stuff here. Godchild, Get Backers, just some stuff. Uh, Goblin Slayer, which I will eventually read more of. Uh, Golden Time, is that also from the creator of Toradora? Uh, I don't remember. I really don't. Gurren Logan, I had, I think I had a chance to get. I think I bought these at 
borders when they close. I'm glad I did because you really have a hard time finding those these days. Um, Gunsmith Cats, bit of a story behind that one. I brought those to school and they got me in trouble. <laughs> oh yeah, these uh, these these got me in mucho trouble at school. It did, did not go well. I went to a Christian school, by the way. They were not impressed. Uh, the Melancholy of Harui Suzumiya. Classic right there. Some of the Harui offshoots. Um, here's a Hagany. I love Hagany. It's so good. It's so fun. It was just, it was kind of that series that really resonated with me when I was in high school. Agony, I don't have many friends, being the subtitle. Uh, the fucking original story I read online, I read what happens. What the fuck? What happened? Uh, but supposedly the manga is doing their own story, which thank God. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> because, yikes. If you want to look it up for yourself, look it up. It is bizarre. Well, we got some haiku. I don't know where the rest of them are, but they're somewhere. Um, some old stuff here. Uh, the hentai prince and the stony cat. Uh, those are really hard to get. I think I got those on eBay, though, for a really good deal. Uh, Hibiki's Magic. I bought those back in 2008 sometime, way back in the day. Just super old stuff. Um, high School Debut, 1 through 3. I'd like to get more of the... Oh, sorry about that, guys. I'd like to get more of these. I believe I quite... I remember liking High School Debut quite a bit, but I'd have to reread it because I just don't really remember it very well. Got some more etchy with High School DXD. Um, everyone loves... Well, I shouldn't say everyone, but a lot of people like High School DXD. We have some um, High School of the Dead here. Uh, I've got the Omnibuses somewhere else, so we'll, this we'll come back around to. That's some just really old stuff. Higurashi was actually a really big part of my manga journey when I was younger. Because I was not a fan of um, horror and never really have been. But when I was in high school, like, well, I shouldn't say, it was like 7th or 8th grade. I think I was reading Higurashi and uh, I was fascinated by it. But eventually, once I got like way, way out here and stuff, it the story just lost me. I lost interest. Um, I just... My mind just absolutely fried. Hikaru no Go. Wow, the complete collection here. I, I was trying to say it and it, just no words. There, there were there were no words. Horamiya was a story I really liked. Um, I'd like to get into that again. I just uh, haven't had time to get more of those volumes, but I definitely will because I just remember liking the characters in that series a lot. How bored? How to raise a boring girlfriend? That's a fun series. Um. Let's see, and then we also got some Hunter x Hunter here. Just, uh, I try, I don't know. It's such a, I, you hate to see what happens to series like these, just when the authors, like, are sick and have trouble getting them out and stuff like that, so. You, you hope someday that Hunter x Hunter will get the story it deserves. And, you know, you obviously wish for the health and the very best of, um, of the creator as well. Obviously. Oh, uh, I want to eat your pancreas. That's a sad, sad day. So, right here. Tech... This is the first volume one of a series I ever bought. Inubaka is basically where it started for me. Um, and honestly, funnily enough, my mom bought me these two, I want to say, for my birthday. Um, basically, neither of us knew what manga was at that time. It was the, so this wasn't the first volume of manga I ever got, but it was damn close to it. We'll, we'll get to that one in a little bit. But Inubaka, you could honestly say, is almost where it all started. And the fact that it was like, can the English one was cancelled with like five or six volumes to go, breaks my heart. But, what are you going to do? Inukami, um, this one, I believe I'm missing volume one, and I need to get that, so I haven't been able to read any of those yet, which is <laughs> kind of stupid. Um, is it wrong to pick up a girl in a dungeon? That's a fun series, and Perfect Girl did not do it for me. And then we end out here with a bit, with a few random titles there. And Hiccup, and Toothless. To the next one. Jack Frost, Coming a, coming a Kiss. Um, oh, we have, uh, oh, I forget how to say this. You'll very much noticing, I never talk to manga, I never talk about manga to people. So I never really say the names of things out loud. I just kind of make up names for them in my head. So when I have to do a video like this, I sound like an idiot because I don't know how to say anything. So Kimini Todoki, I have no idea if that's how you say it. I apologize. I've only read the first five volumes so far. I'm working on the other ones, but I've got to say, as far as Shoujo goes, it seems really solid. Um, 
This is just uh, these four omnibus volumes. I really should probably get those out so you can see them, but they're in there and I'm not gonna do it, so suck it. Um, uh, <laughs> give me kiss. Uh, that was another one that I really enjoyed in high school. Um, as a as a poor, lonely, single high schooler, uh, those ones really did it for me. <laughs> really, really did. Um, Kissing White Lily for my dearest girl. Got some Yuri volumes there. Got some Sandania, Kuro Connect, Kuroko's Basketball, some... S Let's see, just go through here. That was one of the first, that was a weird book, and I probably shouldn't have read it when I was in high school, but I did anyway. I got those, I can't think I got like these for like $3 a piece at some Barnes and Noble sale. That was crazy. Um, Let's Dance a Waltz, I remember being fairly enjoyable. That's only a three volume series. Log Horizon, didn't really do it for me if I'm honest. Um, Love Hina, just a classic that I kind of wanted to have in my collection. I've got the singles and the omnibus. I got these um, at a manga shop that was closing, so I, I just got those for really cheap. That's kind of why I decided just to get those. I think I'm, I think there's a fifth one that I don't have. Um, Library Wars, a shoujo I really like. That's a really good shoujo. That was a fun story. I feel like that's a shoujo that people who aren't into shoujo could read. Um, Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer. I got those omnibus volumes there. The complete collection. <clears throat> a few older volumes there. Magi. I haven't read this in a while. Um, I'd like to finish it someday, but I, I just kind of... In a similar fashion to Food Wars, if I go too long without reading something, I just forget what was happening. And then if I'm going to reread it again and start going farther into the story, I have to reread it. Which just takes so much time that I just haven't done yet. Um, we got some more etchy stuff here. Um... Marie the Virgin Witch. I remember kind of liking that, but I don't even know if there is any more, if I'm honest. I can't say I've seen it anywhere. Some Madoka Magica stuff. Um, Mayo, uh, Mayo Chi? Mayo Chiki, I should say, is a series that I've always just wanted to get the Omnibus volumes. I do have one of them, but I just haven't bothered. I haven't read it yet, just because I wanted to get the Omnibus volumes, but until I get more of those, I want to read this big boy. Um, some old volumes there. Um... Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, I need to get more of those. That was a really fun read. Um, Midnight Secretary, another just shoujo that I enjoyed. Uh, sometimes I don't like them, sometimes I do, but I must say I did like uh, that series quite a lot. Moving on to some ecchi. <laughs> Very different. Um, Monster Mizumi, I love Monster Girls, so you'll see as a running theme, if there's basically a monster-themed girl manga that's come out, I have bought it. Uh, Missions of Love, I read that a long time ago. And I remember getting to this point and then just kind of losing interest, so I haven't gotten any more of those at this time. Now to the next one! Well, who do we have here? More High Train Dragon, and we have some No Game No Life! And some My Little Pony, apparently. And, while we're at it, look everybody, it's D.Va. Did you see what I mean? When I said I like Monster Girls! Uh, I love... Um, My Monster Secret. Really fun series, really like the characters. The story's dragging a bit, um, so I don't know how that's gonna go, as far as the later volumes go, but... I really like it. Uh, My Little Monster, uh, My Love Story, great, great series, love it. Um, My Youth Romantic Comedy is Wrong As I Expected, that's a fun series as well. Uh, and then My Hero Academia, absolutely love it. It's it's a gem, it's it's fantastic. There's That's really all you have to say about it. I love My Hero, love it, love it, love it. Ooh, My Myster uh, Mysterious Girlfriend X. That's a, another series I really, really liked. Like that a lot. And then, now we're to the place where some of you probably could have guessed when my first volume came out. So let me see here. I believe my first volume of manga was... Oh, was it 27? I think it was volume 27. This is the first volume of manga I ever bought for myself. So when I started, I first found anime and manga... Through Naruto, as I think it's so many people, so many people my age did. Uh, so I was watching it online, and I ended up watching from the beginning of Naruto all the way to this fucking fight. Just uh, my childhood in two volumes. Um, this whole arc, honestly. But um, but I got to that point, and I think like there weren't any more episodes, or it had stopped. I think the original was in like the filler phase, and then I found out like somewhere online that I was like, wait. I can just keep reading it, there's more. And so I started here, and then from there, that was that was history. And then I just started reading Shippuden. And uh, it was 
<sighs> Naruto will always hold such a special place in my heart. I just love it so much. You can see it's so faded. A lot of these used to be in the sun, um, so they're really faded now. Boruto, on the other hand, I'm really not into. Maybe one day I'll give it another shot, but not really into it right now. Nisekoi, a, a series that I thought had so much potential. I liked it so much. Um, but then it just kept adding more girls where it didn't need more girls. <laughs> um, I was fine with the amount of girls that were in it. So I actually haven't even finished Nisekoi yet. Um, I want to say I still haven't read these two volumes, so I still need to, and then uh, so from there I just haven't completed the collection yet. I, I want to finish it because I want to know what happens, but man, it was really burning me out. Uh, Negima, that is another one that just brings me back to high school and my old days of, of buying and reading manga. So, Negima is such a weird book because from like volume one, up until like volume like 19 or 20, it's just, it's sort of just etchy harem garbage, quote unquote. Maybe I liked it. Obviously, I did it up to volume 20. Volume 20 becomes like a awesome like battle, like shonen battle manga. And all the characters become badasses. Um, and so that was great. But then the ending sucked. So... <laughs> I'm so conflicted. The ending was such a garbage cop out that I've I've hated it ever since. <laughs> but but like from here to like here, it's so good, so good. So I don't know. Take my word with a grain of salt. Um, I think there's like eight of these volumes back there, so I'm not getting them out. So that's what's back there. Uh, here's volume one, by the way. It's stuffed up here because I apparently ran out of room. For no no rise. Of the Yokai Clan. I have a lot of volumes of that. Choose them. Um, and then we round off with a couple random things, as well as no matter how you look at it. Oh, I'm not, I'm not even gonna bother. I was like, well, what's the rest of it again? I can't remember. Just fuck it. Uh, and then just some more pop figures. Oh, we gone. All right. Sorry if this gets a little shaky for these last two um, rows, guys. I have to have it freehand and get pretty close to the floor, so it might get a little shaky. And I apologize. Um, so here's the book. Um, What's what's it called again? Not Natsumi, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Natsumi, Natsumi's Book of Friends. Oh God! And then we have uh, Noragami. Hi, Applejack. Uh, we've got some Trigun there. Just eh, not really my thing, if I'm being honest. Um, <laughs> these books. If you if you want to read some comedy books, oh my God, these ones are just absolute absolute goal. I need to get more. I can't believe I don't have more of those. If I'm being honest. My big boy growling at. All right, sorry about that. Um, so here we have more Monster Girls, Nurse Tomi's Monster Infirmary. That was a really fun one. Um, Nan Nan Biori. A lot of um, Seven Seas titles right here. Uh, we got No Game No Life right there. Oh, man, I bought these forever ago as well. Jeez, I'm, it's so crazy going back through some of these because some of these I bought so long ago. Um, one Punch Man. I've actually I fell off One Punch Man for a while, but I've got I've really got a niche for it again, so I really want to get back into it. Um, there we go, Overlord, uh, and then this series, just this one, <laughs> Orange. Uh, this Pending a Stocking book was also really fun, and I wish there were more of them, but there aren't. So I mean, sad day. Those are really old. Jojo there. Uh, that's one that just I don't really think is ever going to be my cup of tea. Um, someday I'll probably just get rid of it because I don't think I can be bothered to try and collect all the volumes. I was trying at one point, um, and as you can see by the numbers, I've, I've kind of failed. Um, so, I mean, this is a short series that, man, it just never did it for me. just never caught me like like other shown uh, shows do. So... Um, the Promised Neverland, everyone says it's amazing, and I'm trying, but I'm not really there yet. Some Pokemon volumes, some one-off volumes, some old volumes, like Academy, Peach Fuzz, God, I only bought that because there's a ferret on it, don't judge me. Been doing the Crystal Ghost Urn, sorry this camera's really shit. Max, shush, I'm doing the thing. Um, Pandora Hearts, love Pandora Hearts, Pandora Hearts is a really fun series. 
Um, real account, probably won't get any more of those, but it was it was okay. QQ Sweeper, Read or Die, a whole bunch of more random stuff in here. Where's my focus? There's my focus. Some random stuff. I did get some Rave Master. That's not many. Not many in there, what? but um, there is some. I thought about trying to collect it, but I really probably won't at this point. Sherlock Bone, Strike Witches. I like Strike Witches, actually. Um, also, So I'm a Spider. Uh, so what? That's actually really fun as well. I like that quite a bit. One of these days, I'm going to I'm gonna find all of Slam Dunk and read it. One of these days. I hear it's good. Woo! More pop. I don't really have that many pop figures, but apparently they're all on these few shelves. All right, I'm now on my ass. This is getting difficult. This is the bottom row. Strike the blood. Those are really old, but they look really cool. So, look at those. Those look really nice. The art was just so nice, I couldn't help it. Um, Sumo Momo, Momo Momo. I will never get tired of saying that title ever. Um, we've got one volume of School Life, and then what's back there? Uh, Sakura Hime. That's it. I think it's the whole series back there as well. Um, all right. Let's back up. So we're gonna. This is gonna get a little awkward. Let's see what we can do here. So the seven deadly sins. I have to, have to get back into reading that. Um, I've fallen off of reading it at the moment, but man, I liked it so much. I really don't know why I ever stopped. Um, and then we've got something just some more itchy. Sister New Devil, uh, Senakagura, and then I've got like a big old space here. I'm not really sure why. I think I just I try to leave space so I can fill in with more manga as I go along. Servamp. See what else we got. Seraph of the End. Read that for a while and then really lost interest in it. Soul Eater. Fucking love Soul Eater. I love that the volume start off white. And then as the series goes fucking batshit, they get black. I love Soul Eater. It's honestly one of my favorite series I've read of all time. The anime doesn't do it justice, but the manga, fantastic. Excel World, we've got some Sword Art Online. I'm sorry, it's so shaky, guys. We're, we're going to be out of here soon. Um, um, Senkare, Senkara, or Senkare, I can't remember. Spice and Wolf, I don't have all of Spice and Wolf, which is shocking. I really need to get the last few volumes. So good. Um, got some random volumes here. Why am I holding this in one hand? This is not helping the shakiness. A Silent Voice, fantastic series. Absolutely go buy A Silent Voice. Just series. Soul Eater Not didn't really do it for me. That wasn't really my cup. It was it was fine, but um, wasn't anything like Soul Eater near quality level. Say I Love You, Skip Beat. That's a big old classic right there. Big old long classic too. Jeez, um, this one not so much of a classic. Kind of a perf town there. Um, Sock, uh, Strawberry 100% bought those ages ago. So, so long ago. Well, I don't know what's back here. So, we'll have to actually look on this one. Oh, I see. So, we've got... Um, so, I can't play H. And then, behind that are my volumes of um, Shakugan no Shana. I don't have many. There's three, four, five... Two, three, four, five, and six back there kind of see like that. Um, volume 1 is somewhere else. We'll, um, we'll see that in a bit. It's And it's on a different shelf and you'll see why in a minute. So, Samurai Harem, Tuxedo Gin Complete Collection, and a decent amount of um, Tri-Edge X. Woo! Woo! So yeah guys, that is the main wall. That is the main huge chunk of wall. Um, it's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's, so it's 8 shelves. Um, mostly alphabetized, and as you can see, I never thought there'd be a day where all my manga wouldn't fit on it, but it doesn't. Um, so before we move on to the shelves over here, which are next, um, we're just going to check these boxes right here, which you were probably wondering about, and we'll take a look at those. So if you're one of the people screaming, where's One Piece? I've got it. Don't worry. Um, so One Piece I have all the um, box sets for. So that's this is just where I've been putting the box sets for now. Um, of all the box sets, one through three box sets, and then I've got the, why am I blank, Dead Death Note, yikes, classic right there, Death Note collection, and then I've got Vampire Knight box set, and then also I've got the, um, sorry about the glare, can't do much about it though, Rosero Vampire box set, another great box set right there. Alright, so moving on, we're going to be starting on these shelves, and I'll move this table. So these here are my two new additions that most of you, I don't think anyone's really seen before unless they just happen to be in a video. These weren't in my last um, haul video, on my last uh, manga collection video, so these are newer. Um, 
I'd like to get, so these are two Ikea shelves, but I don't live near an Ikea, but I was able to get these shipped, but if you get a bigger one than this, it costs like ridiculous amounts of money to ship. Um, so one of these days, I hope to go to an Ikea and get like one of those tall ones, because the tall skinny one I, I might put there someday. So I've got a small one there with my diva statue on it, we'll take a look at that first. And then over here is my figure um, display case, so we will look at that, I guess we'll save that for, um, for afterwards, but we will check that out as well for those of you who want to see it. Um, let's go over here first. So there, we just have a random collection of um, Japanese volumes I have. Nothing special, nothing much. I can't read them. Um, a couple of the Pokemon ones are really cool. I got those at a flea market somewhere. Don't ask me why they had Japanese ones, but they did. And I love that movie. And so I was really happy to get that. That was really cool, honestly. Um, moving down here. Um, am, I, am I safe? I think I'm safe. So these are my... Uh, my 18 and older titles <laughs> and so you can um <laughs> i wasn't even to show these but we're here so we have a bit of a mix curiosity something the cat um so you if, if any of you want to look up what those are you can i don't recommend it well i mean maybe i do <laughs> but i don't if you know what i mean uh so i do have uh just i don't have many of those but i do have a few and that's just random stuff there Alrighty, so moving on to these shelves here. So these are, I don't like stacking manga on top of each other like this, but I don't really have a choice anymore. So Tokyo S, Toradora, those have come out so slow, but I love them. You can see the ones, oh sorry about that, you see the ones on top there. The third, that's like one of the first manga I ever bought as well. I think it was like the, somewhere in the top ten of, as far as like the first volumes I ever purchased. I know, weird, right? It's just a nothing series. On today's Cerberus, um, Trinity 7, some more Subaka, Subasa up there, Tokyo Mew Mew, um, and then, uh, Te um, is it Tegamabachi or Tegamab? It's been uh, Letter B. That's been ages since I've read that. Uh, way, well, again, way back in the day, probably 2009, 2010. I really liked it back then, but I also hadn't read much back then, so comparatively now, it's honestly probably doesn't really hold the candle to kind of some of the stuff I read today. Um, I tried QU Holder. It's, the, I think, like the follow-up to Nagima, and I couldn't do it. <laughs> Sorry about the sun! Uh, Witchbuster, Ultimo, voiceover, some more of that stuff up there. Whistle. That's a soccer one, right? Um, World War Blue. Uh, I want, I want, there's one more omnibus volume of this, and one of these days I'll find it. <laughs> um, Witchcraft works, amazing art, and the story is pretty fun too, but the art is ridiculous. Let's see. Oh my god, I love the art of Witchcraft works, it's beautiful. Um, let's move down here. Brr, get in my ass. Um, wow, Yamada-kun and the Seven Witches. I've legitimately, till right now, forgotten about this series, and I loved it before. I'm gonna let, like, Look that back up. What's going on with that? Is it finished? Damn. Anyway. <laughs> Note to self. Um, your line April. Just cry. Um, Yotsuba. Fucking amazing. Great comedy series. Um, some hack books there. I really liked this back in the day, but I didn't know much about manga, so I was like, what do you mean they're not going to release anymore? I don't get it. <laughs> I did not know. I was not ready. The Quintessential Quintuplets. Awesome series. Really enjoying that. Um, Teasing Master... What's it called again? I just bought it. Forgive me. Teasing Master Taka, Takagi... Fuck. Don't. Shut up. Shut up. Leave me alone. Um, so, seventh Garden. By the way, this one's like... This shelf is sort of alphabetized, but I kind of started losing it around here, so not quite anymore. Uh, Twelve... They're in the general vicinity. Twelve Beast, Yokai Girls, Tuna Hot Spring, um, Zero Familiar. These are old. Jeez, um... That's some, that's some old, old, old Viz Media stuff right there. That is some old, old stuff. Um, then we got some Tokyo Ghoul. Funnily enough, Tokyo Ghoul, not really my thing. Um, just, I don't know. Didn't, didn't do it for me like a, uh, like I thought it would. More than Monster Girls! Um, a, cent a Centaur's Life. I really enjoyed that for a while, but eventually uh, it got a little boring, I've got to say. Uh, but I did really like it. Still fun to read. Still worth it, I think. Um, Citrus, some more Yuri stuff. Uh, the Sacred Blacksmith. Oh, I love these color volumes of Galico. Oh, these are so fun. These color Galico volumes are really, really fun. And then, like I said, here's more. It's in the Vampire Bund. Again, I got these. I only bought these. They were at like a 
bam, books a million, stupid sale. I got them all for like three or four dollars a piece, so I just went ahead and went ahead and picked those up. So we're starting to, so we're now we're moving into like my tall volumes and omnibus volumes. So a lot of what we're gonna see after this, because we're getting close-ish, we're, we're closing in on it now. Um, so we're getting there. So we've got. Some classics here. Look at this Dragon Ball Z. And then we've got up. Oh, so you can already see it. Sorry. Um, this is a complete series here. I don't have all of the Inuyasha omnibus volumes, which I really should do that sooner than later because it's just going to get harder and harder to find them all. Um, but I've got a pretty good start. But I just, I really need to start working on some of the middle ones and some of the later ones. So I'm close ish, but I'd love to get all those because they're really nice volumes. So that does it for um, for these uh, little shelves here. So now we're moving over to the last, well, no, I shouldn't say that. Sort of the last big shelf. All right. So these two shelves here are the last two. Um, I had a chance to get three of those, and I will regret to, to my dying day that I didn't get more of those. It would have been perfect to have um, two more of those. It would have been, oh, it would have been amazing, but I didn't. So I've got one of those shelves. Those are all tall volumes. This one here is mostly anime, but there's a little bit of manga. So we'll just do that shelf. It'll finish off the manga, but it'll also start the uh, the anime section as well. All right, I'm just gonna do these quick because I'm holding the camera above the head. <laughs> Um, so we've got those limited edition volumes of Fruits Basket. Uh, I like them a lot more than the ones they released uh, not too long ago because they're like hardcovers and awesome. But they stopped releasing them, so sad day. Uh, some Harvey Susan Mia light novels. Um, Alice in Murderland, weird series. Uh, Monster Encyclopedia, that's right up my alley. <laughs> um, Wolf Children, awesome, awesome hardcover. Beautiful Mobile Suit Gundam Origin sets. Those are all just amazing. Um, and then we've got High School of the Dead up there, finally. And then a couple of just extra volumes and then some Avatar as well. Moving down, oh my oh, poor arm. Let's see, we got um, Suzuka. That was actually a really fun anime, um, but I believe that was a canceled volume uh, manga series, so that wasn't finished. Um, Barefoot Gen, I'm really, really lucky to have all of those. I believe it's volume two that's really, really hard to, um, hard to find. So I'm glad to have those. Uh, the Kill a Kill manga. Some Lucky Star, some Dot Hack, Maximum Ride, and then you just saw these in just a recent manga haul. I've gotten those very recently. Moving down again. Boop. Where am I? Here I am. So we got Love at 14. I really like that series. I don't think many people do, but I really enjoy it. Kindred Spirits, Sekirei, a High School Prison. Um, that's a series and a half. Just got these ones to finish it out, and Scum's Wish on the very end. Scum's Wish is alright. Oh, and then we've got Bunny Drop. Um, what's there really to say? This? These? These? Great. These? Um, maybe not. <laughs> then we've got a bunch of one-offs here. Just a whole bunch of random stuff, really. Stuff that I apparently wasn't all that into because there isn't that much of it. So we got some Brave, some k some Awkward, um, Sweet Blue Flowers. That was alright. Now we have some more Omnibus volumes down here. Uh, these are the Dark Horse releases that they actually did really well. Um, so so uh, Card Captor Sakura. Um, oh My Goddess. I actually really enjoyed it. I'd never read it or watched it before, and I really enjoyed it reading it these way, this way. Um, these are beautiful volumes, and I've, I've really enjoyed collecting those. Um, uh, Blade of the Immortal, Clover, Shaman Warrior, Bride of the Water God. What was that, oh, what was that one called there again? I read it so long ago. Wandering Island, that's right. And a couple just random stuff on the end. Uh, there we got just a masterpiece right here. Vinland Saga, actual masterpiece. And then this one I talked about, I think, in my latest manga haul. I have no idea how the fuck to say it, so I'm not going to try it. You, I'm not going to let you make fun of me that way. Inside Marie, or Mari, or who knows. And then, well, I feel like I'm not in focus, and it's, it's making me mad. <laughs> In more ways than one. <laughs> Hardcover of a race there, and then just a bunch of really random stuff, honestly, to finish off this shelf. Those are Attack on Titan light novel volumes. Ultim ult um, I almost said Ultraman. Or is that what it is? This is what it <sighs> Don't mind me. Um, it's been a long video. <laughs> and then JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. 
Oh, moving down. Here we got the complete cheese sweet home. Um, good night, Poon Poon. That was a weird one. Land of the Lustrous. Oh, Maidens in their Savage Season. Love and Lies. I gotta read more of that. Wotakoi. Loved Wotakoi. Really good series. Um, Happiness 1 through 3. Just more of one-off stuff that I apparently just haven't been as into because I haven't really bought that much of it. Although I must say, I really liked Welcome to the Ballroom and I'm probably going to get more of that. Princess Jellyfish, Sweetness and Lightning. Sweetness and Lightning, I should say. Cells at Work and Monster... <laughs> Interviewing Monster Girls. Surprise, surprise that I have that series. <laughs> On my ass again. Uh, light Novel Time. Some more Harabi Suzumiya. Um, Spice and Wolf. So, I'll, we'll look at that in a little bit. I do have the collector's edition of Spice and Wolf, and it's a very special one, so that's probably the most valuable thing in my collection. Um, as far, like, almost in that I value and in actual value. Um, sort of online, these are all um, light novels, by the way. No Game, No Life. Devil's a Part-Timer. Dungeon People. Psychum. Um, My Youth Romantic. Toradora. I'm definitely going to get all those. Definitely going to get all those. Uh, Monster Doctor. That was right up my alley. <laughs> and then um, some more uh, Dance with Vampire Bund. And just finishing it off. It's a couple of best of Japanese only I think up there. I'm not sure. Uh, Rising of the Shield Hero. And these. The, those ones. The, those ones. <laughs> Uh, let's actually just move over here. We're going to start on the bottom of this one. So that's honestly right there just a bunch of random crap that we aren't going to bother with because I'm going to get rid of it probably. So ignore that. <laughs> um, that's just the empty boxes from the special editions I got. Um, Terraformers. 20th Century Boys. I'd like to get the new ones that have come out. Like the really nice looking ones. Uh, volume 1 of Monster. A couple of the black editions of Death Note, but I probably will never bother to get the other ones. Neon Genesis Genesis Evangelion. <laughs> Nailed it. And then we have, oh, these ones are really nice looking volumes as well. I think, yeah, I was about to say, I'm missing one. I knew I was missing one. I'm missing volume 9 still. And then we have Jorman volume 1 through 10. We'll just go up from here. Let me back up a little bit. Fairy Tale. This one's actually signed with some voice actors in it. Um, Akari, there's Berserk, Volume 1, so all you people going, where's Berserk? There it is, I'm going to get more of them, just hush your face. Uh, and then these here are interesting, hold on, let me, um, sorry for the noises. Um, are these, uh, which one, maybe this one? So yeah, these ones are my signed manga volumes. Some of them are signed on the outside, some of them are signed on the inside. This one's signed by the guy who did, uh, who is he? I think he was the guy who did Kimimoro and someone who did somebody else. I don't know who. But um, I think this is a cool one. Yeah, this is a cool one because they were at the same con. So Monica Real, um, so the two that voiced both of these characters were at the same con. So this is this is a really nice signed one. And it's, it's not a glossy volume, so that's just not going to wipe off. So that was a perfect case scenario. So all those are just volumes that I have signed in some regards. So that's why those ones are all separate. Whew, all right, believe it or not. <laughs> That is the manga done! 3,000-ish volumes of manga! Just so happy. I'm just gonna go through these. Some, most of these are limited collector edition stuffs. Um, we're not gonna spend too much time on them in all honesty. But, uh, but yeah, so this is my anime collection. So we got Food Wars, Gundam, uh, that there is a Kizanai. Um, see, like, limited, really special edition of her Hello World release. So that's kind of cool. Um, Pokemon card. Love that card, by the way. Maybe you guessed it. Some, so, uh, fucking Tokyo Ghoul. And then, that's a really cool limited edition as well. I haven't unboxed it yet. Squid Girl, awesome series, by the way. This, if you haven't, uh, watched the video of this unboxing... Go watch it, because it's just ridiculous, that set is. Soul Eater, such a weird, weird collector's edition. But it's a great thing for having voice actors sign, which I have done. So that's cool. Love Live. Oh, what's up here? Some Parasite. Uh, Lone the Sea, that one's really good. But Toradora uh, collector's edition, I love that, because it's just my favorite show. Um, my Love Story, Flip Flappers. Chinibio, School Live. 
Not Alive, Mostly Dead, Mostly School Dead, should have been the name of the book. Uh, name of the book, name of the anime. Um, ooh, where's my focus? I can't find it. I can't find it! And then uh, Kill the Kill, Your Name, Collector Edition, and then just some other stuff back there. All right, that's also just another sign thing if you wanted to see that. You can kind of see it, but it's also hard to see because of the glare. If you wanted to know what was up there, it's just my one-fourth figure of Miku because I have nowhere to put her, so she stays in her box. My Jumbo Nendo of Miku, and then that's a mouse pad that I've never used, so that's what's up there. And then I guess for those of you who wanted to see it as we're walking past it, here's my computer setup. So I've got two screens here. Blessed with the lovely Zero Two on the front. Um, and then I did miss, that's the manga I'm currently reading. So if you wanted to know if you saw some missing volumes as we went, that's, that's the ones I'm reading at the moment. Trying to get those done and out of the way. So that's my desk with all my stuff. Let's move over to the figure case, which I think is last and we'll do it. Oh, and just real quick, on the way to the figure case, um, there's a print I really like there that I got at a con, and my Toradora poster, All Hail. Alright, so here's the figure case. So you got some Nendos on top there, like you can see there, there you can see my Nendos if you really want to see which ones I have. I don't have the, most of them out because I just need more figure cabinets, in all honesty. Some Harry Potter ones, some Overwatch figures, um, and then as we go down, let's maybe, let me actually get this open first. Sorry that the lighting has kind of gotten bad. The lighting over in this corner just isn't great, but um, I just this isn't really different from past videos. Assuming that I have made videos on it in the past, um, so we got Hagony, Miku, um, my Master Mizumi figure, which I love. I wish they made some more of. That one's actually from Robotics Notes, funnily enough. Um, then we've just got my other scale figures down here, um, Sonico figures, I've got these My Little Pony ones I've been collecting, these should be a row down, but I'm going to rearrange this some. I love this Soul Eater figure, there's a Sword Art Online Asuna right there. Moving down, this is like, so I used to be really into My Little Pony, I think it was a phase. I like the show, I must say I still probably like the, the first of the show, but I really liked it in high school, like I liked it so much. Uh, not so much anymore. Um, I didn't. I haven't. Wa I didn't watch any of the last few seasons. I just really didn't. Um, really didn't care that much. But I did like collecting the figures, and I've got to say, like those ones are really, really good. Um, and then I do have another Overwatch figure here. My Gengu. Got some Nendoids. This was supposed to be the Nandroid shelf, but they didn't look good, so I just left them in their boxes for now. Uh, that's just an Applejack plush. Another figure. And then here, let's go ahead and we'll pull this bad boy out and get a better look at it. So I think this is the last thing we're going to have for the video for the most part. My Spice and Wolf Anniversary Collector's Edition. So, so it's just a really special piece to me because I ordered it on Right Stuff and I didn't really realize that just ordering it didn't mean I, I got a copy. So I ordered it and then realized that I didn't get it. And so, ah, you can see here and now why this volume is a little, a little special to me. I don't... Ooh. Trying to do this one-handed, I'm sorry. So long story short, I get a message from my stuff. They said they you know don't have enough, didn't get it, and I was so upset and just oh it just bummed me out so much. And I follow Yen Press on Twitter. And then we're going to a convention uh, in New York. And they were bringing it was basically for this release of the special collection edition. And so they brought a bunch of copies with them, and people at the show could get volumes. And I was like, oh, I'm so, so jealous. Well, I was in the car coming back from going out to eat with my parents. Open Twitter, and there's a tweet that says, We've had a signing at a Barnes & Noble with the author. And he signed all of their copies, but not all of their copies sold. And they showed a rack of volumes that were all signed. And they said you can call... And like order one over the phone. So I like instantly like got on the phone, called, and she was like, oh yeah, so we'll put you on this list and we'll call you tomorrow because we can't do it right now, but we'll call you tomorrow and get your credit card info and uh, and all that stuff. So it was, the, it was the longest like few hours of my life the next day praying that they'd call me and not say, oh yeah, we've sold them all and they're all gone. Um, but no, I got the call. They took my credit card and my address. And I ended up getting a signed copy that is a really low number, way lower than you could get unless you went to that convention and got it there. Um, 
So I, I love this. I love this piece. It's so special to me. I believe it's worth a lot seeing it signed by the author because the only ones that were signed were whatever ones he signed at that convention. So really cool. Really, really cool. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for watching this video, especially if you made it this far. It's a long video. It's a lot of stuff, but I don't know. Uh, I really appreciate, like, especially, like, you. You were the person who, like, watched all the way to here. You're a champion. You're awesome. Thank you so much for supporting me and just, and everything I've done up until now. I know my, <laughs> I do not have the best track record with uploading videos, but this is it. This is where we are. And I had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, share it with your friends. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know how many volumes you have. Let me know where you're at in your collecting journey because that's always fun for me to hear. Um, I started out, um, I've shared the picture before on my Twitter, it's like, it's a shelf with Naruto volumes like 20 to like 30 and like 5 volumes of Inubaka. That was my first ever picture in my manga collection. It was 13, like 13 volumes. Um, it doesn't matter what size your collection is or anything. It just matters that you enjoy it and you like what you do. And that's, that's really all of it. So thanks so much again, guys, for watching. Keep an eye out for more videos, and I'll see you back in the prom next time.